Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Um, it's It's been like a week since I've done a video because um, COVID <laughs> and um, I wanted to kind of get on and do, I guess, like a, an update or something. Uh, an update, like slash proof of life, slash whatever. Basically, um, what I did during COVID what helped me sort of keep my sanity <laughs> somewhat intact through COVID and um, decks I'm working with and and all that stuff. Um, first, let me share. If you're following me on Instagram, you will have seen these. Um, but I did actually do quite a lot of painting, which I was surprised I had the energy to do because... Yeah, um, I, I had moments of, you know, where I, I felt a bit more energetic, but I did a shocker series. I'll, I think I'll, I'll post better pictures of these. Um, I'll scan and upload them to Redbubble and share, but I just wanted to kind of share briefly on here. Um, I've been meaning to do one for a while and I just never really got around to it. And then one evening I had the energy and I did it. So it's a bit of a chakra series there. COVID was tough. It was, it was really rough on me. I'm not going to lie. It started off really, um, quite mild and it just got progressively worse. And I still have... I took a PCR this morning, so we'll see, but I still have breathlessness and you can hear it in my voice, but I'm better. I did um, also kind of a series based on, let's see, that's Peony, based on, oh gosh, the Copic color names, which are all flowers, so they're all kind of blossomy, bloomy types of whatever. <laughs> so, again, something that I, um, I had been wanting to do because the colors are so pretty and spring is here and yeah. Um, it's actually quite calming for me, the process, the painting process. So, um, I did do a lot. I, I, I did paint quite a lot. So, um, yeah, all alcoholic. I I think I did any. I didn't do any watercolor, I don't think. So, yeah, at least I don't have it here. Um, the next couple of pieces. Well, this is going to my boy because he wants it. <laughs> these were done. Um, used a brush, actually, for these. And I just kind of created the waves. Um, and I want to do more of these. These are fun. These are really... Uh, quite common because you just you just move the the ink along slowly and the alcohol kind of uh, makes it move around and dance around the page and it's just it's really beautiful I'll probably I'll do a video maybe doing it this way just to show you the difference so but yeah I did these two these two are actually inspired by what I'm going to show you next which um is the Dow the Dow Oracle um, I got, I, I kind of fell down a, a rabbit hole of the Tao and the, and Lao Tzu and the Tao Te Ching and, um, I've been using this, which has been, um, kind of a, a daily thing I've been pulling from it. So I do really, um, I love this this deck very much um so yeah it's it's kind of become um a regular daily sort of practice that I've incorporated I'll pull something in the morning and um yeah I'd have it just kind of sit there and I don't know if I showed you this correctly. So it's the Tao Oracle and the art is by Ma Deva Padma and um, obviously based on the I Ching. 
and so this is the same artist who did the Osho Zen, I think, I'm fairly certain, um, which I don't have, but I, I love this one. So again, the use of this is quite, like the guidebook is, is quite um, <laughs> substantial and it does kind of, it gives you a lot um, with, you know, how to read all of the symbology and everything. And honestly, um, I'm lazy as hell. <laughs> So I'm just going off of the image um, because there is a lot going on down here too. I'm going off the image, the keywords, and then um, the rather substantial description in the guidebook. Oh, this art is just really beautiful. And I just, I think this is also, this is an image from the Osho Z if I'm not mistaken. I did have that deck like, oh God, how many years ago? <laughs> so many years ago. And I just never used it. But, um, but I do enjoy her art style. It is, it is beautiful. So get that. Oh, it's gorgeous. So yeah, I, I've really been, um, finding a lot of peace, uh, with, with this deck, but also with the whole sort of be like water, low state, um, philosophy, which... I've just been listening to a lot of um, recently to sort of help calm my mind. <laughs> um, so let's see, COVID arrived <laughs> around the 14th of March. My older son got it. A couple days later, my younger son got it. A few days after that, my husband got it. <laughs> And I was the last one to get it. Um, and, you know, prior to getting it, obviously, I was taking care of my sickies. So I was already pretty tired. Um, and and as I said, I thought um, it wasn't going to be too bad. Because initially it wasn't too bad. I never got a fever. And um, I didn't really get any horrific <laughs> symptoms, thank goodness. But... Um, it's lingering and that's what it is. And that's, and that's been exhausting. Um, and it does really, you know, I love my family, but having them like in my house constantly <laughs> makes me crazy. <laughs> so, um, you know, that didn't help. <laughs> and today I went out for my PCR and I had the mask on and I was, just gasping for air because um I still have that as I mentioned the breathlessness so it was so hard to keep the mask on um so yeah I'm just I'm hoping things resolve themselves soon thankfully my family is much better children are completely recovered husband is negative but he's still kind of got a bit of a lingering thing um, but not too bad so yeah sorry for that ramble but I really wanted to show you the art <laughs> it's so beautiful um yeah and I've really been enjoying this deck very much so I highly highly recommend it if you enjoy the artwork um this is a card that I got a couple of times in a row which it's like yeah it's, um, yeah. <laughs> um, in addition to that, oh, didn't bring it down. I was working with the Tarot of a Sweet Twilight as well. And I was just doing daily draws with that. Because honestly, that's all my brain capacity could take. <laughs> um, and I've been enjoying that as well. Today is the Babylonian New Year. It is, um, Nissan. And that is, uh corresponding as April 1st on the Gregorian calendar and that's the non appendant that someone very special gifted to me um so yeah I've been using well, I started using my new Babylonian this was my first pull which I was really happy to see the four of wands um and I read 
what the authors had to say and you know overcoming difficulty was one of the <clears throat> uh, one of the phrases and I'm like yeah <laughs> that's where we are but yeah I've shown this deck I, it's so beautiful um, it just it brings me a lot of joy to look at and it just makes me feel very connected so I was really happy to um, I'm glad I actually ended up waiting and, and pulling it out um, literally just today so those are the decks I was working with or have started working with um, a note on books again if you're following mine on, on Instagram you will have seen that I was posting in my stories um, I was devouring <laughs> Bukowski. I was on a Bukowski binge and um, a nice uh, Nian as well because I just I couldn't help myself. Um, so I was reading a lot of, of their works and uh, yeah, I mean, it just it was just a very comforting thing for me to be able to do. Um, in addition to that, I finally read Elif Shivak's um, The Island of Missing Trees. I literally took this book to bed um in the morning and then I finished it in the evening I could not stop um she is an incredible storyteller and my favorite of hers is the 40 rules of love but this is <coughs> excuse me this is absolutely stunning it is about um the division on the the island of Cyprus and um I don't want to ruin it for anyone, but it is, it is such a, it's a magical yet heartbreaking story. The characters, just everything. Anyways, that's all. Um, yeah, before I have a coughing fit, I'm going to sign off. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.